Isidore. Orla Castle was erected in 1115 on a wooded hill. It became part of fortifications meant to protect the inhabitants of Villador from the Vikings, who would invade by way of the river Tursawa. The castle survived not only the Scandinavian warriors' attacks, but also fires, plagues, and the world wars. It is as solid and stubborn as the inhabitants of Villador themselves. Today, Orla Castle is one of Villador's prime tourist attractions, which each year draws in thousands of visitors. Who amongst us has not wanted to feel, just for a moment, like a brave knight or beautiful princess? Still stirring up emotions are the dungeons, where they imprisoned the most dangerous rogues of their day. In all the dungeons' centuries of use, only one person managed to escape, Andrew Zarapatha. This seemingly docile accountant was sentenced to 15 years of prison for tax fraud. He had, however, one extraordinary talent. He could talk people to death, sometimes literally. Thanks to his unbearably wooden and dull tales, he was able to neutralize guard after guard and calmly walk out of the prison. What became of Andrew Sarapatha remains a mystery to this day. Juan, Juan sent me on an errand into the cathedral. Is there anything I should know about? Not much. Just that people say it's haunted. Haunted? <laughs> By what? A ghost? Yeah, right. Anyway, the cathedral's been locked up for years, but there's scaffolding around it. You can probably use that to climb to a window and get inside. <laughs> Still sure you want to run errands for Juan? Might as well. Suit yourself, big boy. Where's Match? He says he's not coming back. Doesn't want to work for you anymore. What's he mean, Hugh? None of your business! You made it my business when you sent me after Match. Got me there. So what exactly are you doing with these kids, Hugh? Match seemed desperate not to come back. Fine, I'll tell you. I'm training them to survive. Come again? I taught him to steal. And spy. For you? For anyone who pays. Are you crazy, Hugh? If the peacekeepers catch them, they'll have no mercy. That's the first thing I teach them. How not to get caught. It's a fucked up world, Pilgrim. No one's gonna go easy on these orphans. I'm living proof of that. I teach them how to survive. Isn't that what fathers do for their children? Match doesn't understand that. Not, not now. He's at that rebellious age. When he makes it in the city, he'll realize it's because I prepared him. You're not gonna go after him? I'm not holding anyone here. We're family.
container detected.
Today, I thought our chances against the Renegades were pretty good. I but got now, the right prices. I'm not so sure. PK is gonna envy your purchases, that's for sure. When did you get so ambitious? Told the line any harder and your fucking toes will get cut off. Fuck this shit. These sketchy types are usually caught by the court. Bar. Here are your books. Not my books, dear boy. Our books. Humanity's books. The world is collectively sighing right now due to your efforts, and it doesn't even know why. This tale, your tale, will be the next great epic, and it's only begun. Ah, the Bible. I mean, well, that's like the book, right? Few books have shaped the world as profoundly as the Bible. Hmm, Hans Christian Andersen and his fairy tales. Powerful stories of virtue and resilience. Children's tales, yes, but containing wisdom for all. 
You have just rescued the collective unconscious of the Western world. Thanks to you, the fire in the belly of humanity burns brighter today. Let's stoke it more, shall we? Thalia there is my associate. She helps me track the collections around the city. She will point you to the next locations as I catalog the books you bring me. Hi, Aiden. I'm Thalia. So, you're the pilgrim Albert told me is helping us rebuild humanity's library. I am. Albert's a wonderful man. I only hope others will appreciate what he's trying to do. We're not in the middle of the Renaissance, you know. Few people read. What about you? What about me? Do you read? <laughs> when I can. Not often. Then tell me what you think. Between the Bible and Hans Christian Andersen's fairy tales, which would you consider a better guide to human behavior? It depends on who you are, and what you need to get by, doesn't it? Thoughtfully answered. Seems there's more to you than meets the eye. And what meets the eye is pleasing enough. You're a breath of fresh air, Aiden. We must talk again next time you bring back books for Albert. Speaking of which, here are the locations of more books.
You're Silencio? Yeah. You familiar with my art? Well, not really, but I have seen Silencio posters around town. And you look, uh... Well, you look younger than the pictures. Well, maybe it's my use of boulder tissue mask. Or some other shit, depends on who asks. If you it's a crime, it's cause I laid them fresh rhymes. Fresher than Frank and his team in the shitty canteen. I have no way of picking up what you're laying down. The virus must have really cramped your style. Cramped, but not necrotic. I'm better than ever. Now, how's that? Just listen, man. Throw me a word, and I'll freestyle for you. Goat. Goat? Are you fucking serious? That's whack. How about, uh, ooh, the peacekeepers? Ah, tough one. They got no style, they got no rhythm. And all they want is for us to join with them. Acting peaceful when for fights they're keen. Just like the Lushes in Frankie's canteen. Dope, right? Only another one on me. <sighs> okay, um, volatile. Fast and furious, I can see that you're curious. Who's scared of the most acts like he's seen a ghost. Wanna scare Frank, play a volatile prank. Yeah, of all my rhymes, that was not the most fine. Hit me with another word. Well, I'm sensing that you're not a big fan of Frank. Really? Why'd you say that? Just an easy rhyme to make, man. Well, not really. You came up with some excruciating rhymes just to diss Frank. Excruciating? You disrespecting me? The one and only Silencio? You're not Silencio. <laughs> With rhymes like those, it's clear you just pose. My guess is you're just some wannabe that Frank won't let perform at the canteen. Yeah, but only because I'm underage. Not because I suck. Unfortunately, you do suck. On my advice, give it up and make yourself useful. You know, grow some crops, carry water for old people. You talk like my own man, and I ain't listening to you, either. Meantime, check this out. A ticket to my last gig, fool. Told you I was the one and only Silencio. Ha!